I think there's a number of things we'd be looking at from an outcome point of view. First of all, I would like to think we've had commitment from the organisations involved. This isn't going to be a one-man band. This has got to be owned by our partners. And I think the biggest challenge is ensuring that our partners at the end of the year will say, actually, we are being part of this partnership work. We have a say, and we're taking control of the workforce for the future. I would like to see success measured by the number of stakeholders we've got engaged in the partnership group next year, and that we've made progress on QIP in terms of new ways of working, new forms of education and training, and that we're actually seeing those productivity gains. I think success for the Essex Workforce Partnership Group will be if we've really managed to work together to get the kind of integrated health care and social care education we need for the population of Essex. For the Essex Workforce Partnership Group to be successful for this time next year, I would want to see more transparency, an element in transformation in terms of how we deliver education, uh, and also a lot more joined upness around uh, the different career paths uh, and outcomes for, uh, for our staff. If the Workforce Partnership Group has been successful this time next year, it made a very successful transition from a current county workforce group and will have truly engaged with providers and understood what that's going to mean with providers and got them completely engaged in the process. If the Partnership Group is successful this time next year, I'd like to see an integrated uh, approach to uh, the workforce development issues, um, including the public health workforce, especially as we work towards um, the uh, local authority and their involvement with public health uh, as we work towards um, 2013. My name's Wendy Allen, I'm Service Manager for Workforce Planning and Development for Thurrock Council. I think success would look like good partnership working between health and social care. I think from my point of view and my organisation's point of view, it would just be really interesting to see how this new system will work in terms of being provider-led. It would just be interesting to see how that works with the different higher education commissioners, etc. That would be really good. I hope that in a year's time that the, uh, all the concerns that people always have about reorganisation and moving to new structures will have been overcome and that people will appreciate and really be able to see that the new setup is going to deliver a better system of education and training and that staff and trainees in particular will appreciate that we do have a new structure that's fit for purpose.